The Serbs had given Kosovo's ethnic Albanians another reason to hate them. Overnight, they'd buried in a large common grave the unclaimed bodies of 50 Albanians killed by Serb police. They failed to place many coffins with the head pointing east towards Mecca, an essential ritual for the Muslim faith. Albanian men had to dig them up and then rebury them in the proper direction. The bodies hadn't been claimed because the victims' families were demanding foreign autopsies to determine how they died. Albanians said the sudden burial suggested a cover-up of atrocities by police who had attacked the village. The blocking of proper funerals outraged Ibrahim Rogova, leader of the largest ethnic Albanian party. He said independence from Serbia for Kosovo was the only way out of the crisis. Autonomy, Rogova insisted, would only be a source of new conflicts with the Serbs. The current one has caused the International Red Cross to pull its foreign workers out of Kosovo. They've been threatened. And pro-Albanian demonstrators rallied outside the American embassy in Bonn to support Vujak Bukoshi, the exiled leader of Kosovo's ethnic Albanian community. He's going to Washington to seek help. He's unlikely to get what he'd like the most. We desperately need uh, troops in Kosovo to protect the defenseless Al Albanian population from a uh, fascist uh, criminal regime of Belgrade. Back in Pristina, Kosovo's capital, the wish is for no more deaths and a peaceful avoidance of another Balkan war.